All right, guys, what's up? This is Mike here again, talking about brakes. Uh, I hopefully this video is going to give you a lot of you some clarity when it's talking about buying a brake kit, upgrading your brakes. Um, there's a lot of people who buy brake kits from me, and this video is just hopefully for just to save me some time explaining it to other people. And if you look over my right or right shoulder, uh, you're going to see uh, I have a brake set up here. Uh, let's go take a look. All right, guys, I know you're wondering why this is a five lug spindle here. Uh, this actually is a Integra Type R um, five lug conversion for my Project EG. Going to do an install uh, DIY later. Um, but I took apart the braking system. I know it's a little rusty, uh, whatnot, but this is going to signify a stock braking system. For a lot of stock upgrades, uh, you're going to go to a unit like this. Um, this is a stock stop tech uh, slotted rotor kit. I suggest slotted. Um, I don't ever really suggest um, cross drilled, especially because these are cast. So these are cast uh, brake rotors. Um, this one has a special epoxy coating to prevent rust. Um, usually, rust is going to formulate on the hat as well as the sides. So. With the Stop Tech, which is usually what I go with, um, it's American company uh, quality stuff. For slotted, it gives you a good initial bite. With these um, slots, they're going to cut into the brake pad uh, at a little bit more aggressive rate than, say, a flat surface. Uh, so I usually go for a slotted rotor for a slightly better um, upgrade from stock, a stock rotor. Now. There's two, there's a couple of different pads. So these are a factory pad. Factory pad's gonna give you less dust. It's gonna give you a quieter brake system. The moment you're gonna, you're gonna go to a more aggressive pad, um, this is the Hawk HPS system. So this is a kind of like in the middle ground uh, brake pad upgrade. It's gonna give you better braking. Um, but you're gonna lose the comfort. So just imagine when you know a stock company when they put out a car, they want basically no no noise, comfort, um, ease of brakes. It's not really in their forte to give you an aggressive braking system. So you're gonna have a upgrade from the HPS uh, Hawk system. So this is a middle ground brake uh, brake pad, and this is a uh, DTC. So this is more of a track only race braking pa uh, brake pad. The problem with these is they're going to be noisy. They're going to create a lot of dust, but they're going to not create brake fade. Um, these are for more of a gr an aggressive racing pad. So the problem with these is these are very temporary. If you roll with this brake pad, what it's going to do is it's going to really destroy your rotor. Uh, very very quickly so the longevity is not there at all so this is created out of a much more um, aggressive material so what's gonna do is gonna eat your rotor away a lot quicker um, it's gonna create noise create dusk and it's going to eat your brake rotor I see a lot of people who purchase super aggressive super aggressive brake pads and they don't like them for the street It's because there's not made for the street so for usually for you know front brakes, brake rotors, and brake pads, you're looking in the 250 uh, to 300, 350 range. That's what you're gonna spend for brake pads like that. Next, we're gonna go to the Wheelwood kit. Uh, Wheelwood kit, this is gonna be, um, this is a Civic kit. Uh, what you're gonna find with this is a two-piece rotor. Both of them are coated with that coating to prevent rust. You're going to have an aluminum hat uh, that is bolted on, if you can see right here. So this is a very affordable kit, okay? So these kits are going to run into the, I'd say, $1,000 range, okay? So this is $1,000, this is the middle ground, okay? I like Wheelwood, they're very affordable. Um, they're very affordable, it works. Um, this is the type of kit that you're going to be looking at. OK, 
okay? Very packed, very well, by the way. Very well, all individually packed. It's a nice kit. So, aluminum hat, two-piece, two-piece rotor. What you're gonna find is it's gonna be lighter, uh, less rotating mass. The less rotating mass that the braking system has to, you know, turn your wheels with, uh, you're gonna be faster in the long run. So this is a a very nice kit. Obviously this one is, uh, you know, this one is um, a kind of a entry, entry, not an entry, like a mid, mid-level brake system upgrade. Uh, braking systems are often overlooked just because in drag racing, people just wanna go fast. They don't wanna stop fast. But in Time Attack Autocross, you wanna go fast and brake fast. Um, so this is a great kit. Uh, very cost effective for what you get full full on everything so you're gonna get stainless steel lines you're going to get um, you know new brake pads brake rotors brake calipers um, it looks great with the red and the black fantastic kit mid-level um, mid-level kit okay so now we're gonna go to the big boy we're gonna go to and look at a stop tech kit. All right guys, this is the stop tech uh, big brake kit. This is gonna be for my S2000. Um, as you can see, just from the size, this is massive. Um, six pot kit, look at, look at the, look at the, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous how huge uh, this brake caliper is. Um, StopTech, really great company, like I said. I go with StopTech a lot, uh, just because, you know, it's an American company. Uh, I wanna deal with the manufacturer. I wanna be, deal with the people that make these and, and understand um, braking systems, okay? Um, you're gonna see here this ginormous uh, brake rotor. This one also is a two-piece aluminum hat. Um, the diameter, I believe this one is about a 14 inch, 14 inch diameter, 13. Huge kit. Um, when you're going with this one, you're gonna go into the range at about $2,000. Now this is for real, I know a lot of people like to rock these just for looks. You know, I see guys who have them on show cars and it looks cool just because it's red and you know, it's something to upgrade. But the problem is, is this is meant to race. This is meant to, um, you know, be the fastest that you can on the track. And that's the problem that I see. Obviously, um, with this kit, it's it's not per se the advantage that you're gonna see because this is a ginormous um, caliper and obviously a ginormous rotor. Um, it's going to, you know, the, the trade-off is gonna be different just because it's, it's a larger in diameter rotor uh, with larger, with a larger rotor and a larger um, caliper, you're gonna have more, you know, either equal to more weight. There's not gonna be the weight saving factor as a kind of a light, uh, a light weight wheel wood um, kit. With this one, that's gone. But you're gonna have huge gains as far as braking. Um, I mean, it's you're gonna have to most likely get a, a larger wheel diameter. Uh, they also sell little templates to make sure that it will fit your wheels. You can't just bolt this on with stock wheels. You're going to have to get aftermarket wheels in general. So on top of the $2,000 you're going to spend, you're going to have to get a new set of wheels and tires just to make, make sure that these fit. Just because um, obviously the larger diameter rotor you're going to put on and also um, the huge caliper, it's going to fill in your whole, uh, your whole rim. So this is kind of the big boy territory. Um, like I said, if you guys want superior braking, uh, this is kind of the end all. I know around the $2,000 range you're gonna spend. Obviously there's more expensive kits. For example, the Brembo, Brembo, I believe is made in Italy. Uh, you're gonna spend, you know, up into $3,000. But like I said, with um, StopTech, super superior, they have a lot of um, cool little technology as far as like, for example, loading the um, uh, the brake pads through here without having to remove the whole uh, caliper. Real simple, because what happens is for a lot of people, if you don't want a too aggressive uh, brake pad, um, what you can do is have street pads that you can just insert in, and then when you go to the track, 
basically um, you know jack up your car remove the, the the street pads and then put on very very aggressive track pads so really great kit but these are the differences guys um, I know a little bit long-winded hopefully I didn't you know spout some misinformation but the these are the difference between something you're gonna find from a stock kit around the $300 range upgrade this is going to be in the thousand dollar range and this is going to be in the two thousand dollar range so anyway guys uh, please like please subscribe for more videos I'm gonna do a little bit more uh, um, you know reviews and you know comparisons so to save you guys money and really buy what you need don't spend money in, on something that you don't really intend to use maybe 20 to 30 percent of its potential so if you're gonna take full advantage of something like this go ahead and spend the money um, if you're gonna take full advantage of this go ahead and spend the money if you're gonna take advantage of that go ahead and spend the money so anyway guys till next video Take care. Later.